What's going on guys? Day 15 of the over-the-counter T1D challenge and maybe one of the most head-scratching days so far. Um, let's just go into uh, some details today. I went back on my intermittent fasting schedule. I guess even before that, uh, I missed my alarms this morning because of a low blood sugar, <clears throat> even though I woke up twice in the night and treated, so it was just a weird... Uh, probably co uh, coincided with the fast day yesterday. Just didn't have enough in my stomach to maintain me overnight with the same uh, same dose of MPH. So just kept crashing and crashing, woke up a couple times. All right, well, at least, you know, I, th I think that means that my insulin sensitivity is good. Well, woke up, uh, treated, and then went on a steady climb for most of the day, despite having almost zero carbs. So... Man, it was just a, a big time head scratcher. So let's go look at the chart. There it is, the overnight lows. The overnight lows and then uh, kind of going right into the morning, uh, spiking up there. And then we're looking at you know lunchtime, uh, which I had lunch with uh, my good T1D friend um, who bailed me out during uh, you know, my over-the-counter insulin crisis. She got me some prescription insulin when I was in a bind. Uh, so big shout out to Chris, uh, and uh, it was great to see you today. Uh, lunchtime, I was going in high, but I had some insulin on board, so I thought, you know, I should probably just have no carbs. So I had a salad with some protein on it, real good. Um, but, you know, just when you think you got it figured out, it throws you a loop. So, uh, you know, continued to climb, did an interview with Ryan Reed this afternoon, uh, the NASCAR driver uh, who drives the Lily Diabetes car, and uh, I can't wait to release that episode. That'll be coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, but yeah, it just kept cruising up, still had some insulin on board, and then I had my basketball game this evening, and I felt like I was coming down. I checked before the game. I was coming, you know, down in, you know, my fall rate was pretty normal, um, and then I went and played the game, and we it was a stressful game, and I was pretty amped the whole time. Uh, we ended up losing, and uh, when I tested after the game, I was 400 or pl or more, uh, and I haven't been that high in a long time. Um, but it reminded me of like back in the day with, uh, you know, after college games, just spiking up because of the stress and the cortisol, and I was thinking maybe you know my body was fighting off some sickness. There's a lot of sickness going around in Dallas right now, so I took some allergy meds yesterday and today, and yada yada yada. Anyway. Um, I went to Target, and I get, first of all, I dosed the insulin, and I went to Target, and I got two big bottles of water and a bottle of Pedialyte, which doesn't have sugar and doesn't have carbs, for those who have asked. Um, and then I just chugged all that water down, and I feel a lot better, and I'm currently sitting at like 150 and, and still settling down, so probably have a little bit of protein to make sure that I don't fall too far, much further um, before I go to bed. But man... What a day. Uh, thank you guys all for your messages to me uh, when I was high. Uh, it, it makes a huge difference to have the community. I think that was the biggest thing that Ryan Reed and I discussed today is just how, how great it is to have people out there who know what you're going through and connect with you on a different level. So uh, thank you guys all for your support. This is a tough challenge. Um, I could quit. I could call it quits right now after this terrible day um, where I barely ate and I had high blood sugar and was awful. But I'm not. Uh, because people out in the world, they don't have an option. Uh, you know, people living without insurance, living over the counter, uh, sometimes it's their last uh, choice, and I only have to do this for 15 more days. So I'm going, and I'll come up the hill, and I'm climbing down. Um, I'm, I got my eyes open, I'm, I'm ready to roll, I'm going to the next level, uh, because this is important. This is important dialogue that we've got to have, and I know that uh, at some point, all this work is going to pay off for, for somebody out there who's got to make a tough decision about their treatment options. So, uh, I'm going into day 16. I'm going to kick ass, and, um, and then we're going to you know check another day off the list until this thing is done, because I'm so ready uh, for that Medtronic 670G that's sitting under my desk right now. So, 15 days, and I'll be on it. See you guys later.